In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to enter purchase invoices using Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. We'll also go through a couple ways to make the data entry a little bit easier using recurring purchase lines. And then also we'll go through how to copy purchase invoices. I'm starting out on my homepage in Business Central and I'm just gonna navigate over to my purchasing list. And then under purchase invoices, I'll select new. I just need to select my vendor to start out. So I'm going to choose first up consultants in this example. And then I have a couple fields I need to enter and then several fields that are optional. So it defaulted to uh, the default date that's in the system right now, which is April 6, 2020. I'll leave that and then I'll enter my uh, invoice number, which is required. I'll just enter a test uh, invoice number here. And if I scroll down here, I'll need to enter the GL account that I want to debit for the expense side for this invoice. Now in this first example, I'm entering it using the manual method. So I'm just manually filling this information in. And then to select this account, I can either start to type in the number or if I know the name or description, I can start to type that in as well. So in this case, I'm gonna choose advertising expense. And I'd also like to assign, I have two dimensions that are assigned here as department and customer group. So I'd like to assign these as well to the expense side of this entry. So I'm just gonna pick a couple dimensions here and then I just need to fill in my quantity as one and then the amount that I would like to go for this purchase invoice. So under $500. And at this point, that's all I really need to enter. I have a couple other areas that I could fill in. Uh, as an example, if I wanted to change my payment terms, I could scroll down to my invoice detail section and I could change my payment terms. Right now it's a uh, current month, but I can change that to 30 days. And then as soon as I do that, you'll notice that at the top, it updated my due date field based on my invoice date. So now it's due in 30 days. I could also change if I forgot to identify this vendor as a 1099 vendor, I still have the chance to fill that in here if I wanted to assign them a 1099 code. But I think I'm uh, happy with everything I have entered at this point. So I can post this invoice or I could just exit out of here or enter another invoice if I'd like. Um, in my case, I'm going to post it. So I'd like to preview it first and just make sure that everything looks good. So I'll go to posting and then preview post theme. And when I do that, I can highlight the GL entry link and I can verify the GL entry that posting this invoice is going to create. So we'll see that we're debiting the 60200 account that we selected, we're crediting accounts payable, and we have our dimension codes that were assigned to the debit side of this transaction. So everything looks good there. So I'm going to go to posting and then post. I could also post and print if I wanted to print the posting report as well. I'll answer yes. And I don't want to view the posted invoice, so I'll select no in this case. So at this point, I've posted my uh, purchase invoice against uh, the vendor's account. And if I were to look at the vendor, if I go to purchasing and then vendors, and I were to look at first up consultants, I'll see that they have a balance. And if I, I could click the link if I want to see the details and I can see the one that I just entered right now. So here's my test 12, 13, 20 invoice that was entered for $500. The other thing that I could do is if I wanted to enter a purchase invoice and I want to enter a default expense account for a particular vendor, I can set up a purchasing code. And these purchasing codes can be used uh, across multiple vendors. So I'll go through that next as an example. So I'm going to choose uh, a different vendor this time. So we'll pick uh, Graphic Design Institute. And I'm going to navigate at the top. I'm going to go to Related, Purchases, and then Recurring Purchase Lines. I'll just click this drop down since there's nothing in here and click New. And I'm going to set up uh, Office Supplies. I can give it just a code 
And then I can also uh, give it a description. And then down here for my GL account, I can assign the account. So I'm gonna look up office supplies and I see that that's account 61400. And I could put in a default quantity of one and I even have the option to put in default dimensions if I'd like. But I'm gonna leave those blank and click okay. So now I have this code office supplies that's linked to this vendor. Uh, this will be a master list. So if I had another vendor that I also wanted to use this as a default, I could assign this code to that vendor as well. And then the other option I have is how I want this automation to work. So over by um, insert lines on invoices, if I change this option here, I can change it to automatic or to ask where it will prompt me. But I'm going to put mine on automatic. So I want it to just automatically fill in my account for me. I'm going to exit out of here. And now I'm going to create a new invoice. And this time, since I'm on the vendor list, instead of navigating back over to purchase invoices, I'm just going to select new document, purchase invoice directly from this vendor record. And when I do that, you'll notice that it filled in the header information for me with the vendor name automatically. So now I can put in my vendor invoice number. And I'll leave my posting date and everything as it is this time. And you'll notice that at the bottom, it automatically filled in my expense account. So here's 61400 with a quantity of one. So now I just need to fill in the amount. And then if I wanted, I have this as optional, so I could fill in the department if I'd like, or I could just leave that blank. And at this point, I'm ready to post. So I could go to posting preview again and just verify my entries to make sure they look good. And I can see my debit to my expense account and my credit to AP. So I can just go to posting and post, just like the last one. And now that entry is posted as well. So that was a little bit easier rather than having to manually fill in the expense account. The other option that we have to make the data entry easier is we could copy uh, other invoices. So if I wanted to uh, create, I'll just create another uh, invoice. Uh, I'm gonna go straight to the purchase invoice window and I'm just gonna click new from here. And then I'll fill in uh, a different vendor this time. So I'll pick Fabricam. And since they don't have anything set up as purchasing codes, you'll notice this is all blank. So what I'd like to do this time is I'd like to copy an invoice that I've posted in the past. So to do that, uh, I have to fill in the vendor, which I did. And now I can go to Actions, Functions, and Copy Document. I can choose whether I want to copy an invoice that's unposted or a posted invoice. So I'll select a posted invoice. And I'll pick this one by First Step Consultants for $100. I'm not going to include the header information because I already entered that and I'd like to keep that unique. I'm going to click OK, and now you'll see that it automatically set up that invoice for me. So it brought over the expense account that was used along with the amount, and I just need to fill in my invoice number. It does include a comment referencing that this was copied from another invoice, and if you did not want that on here, you could just click the ellipse button here and then click delete line. Otherwise, you can leave that in there just as a reference and everything else looks good. So at this time, uh, I'm just gonna go to post, posting, and I'll print it this time to show that example. Now it's posting this invoice, and then it generated this PDF file since I told it to post and print. So now it just gave me a printout as well for that invoice. And that's all there is to it. So now if I go to purchasing, posted purchase invoices, I'll see over here, I can, uh, I'm sorting by the number right now by descending order. So you'll see the three that we just went through right now are showing at the top of the list. So now we can see these are the three invoices that we just posted. And of course I could click on one of these if I wanted to see more details about it. And I can see the invoice uh, the way it looked when I entered it. That summarizes the steps to post purchase invoices and to use
default purchasing codes and copy from other invoices.